Hello everyone, this is Friday, July the 12th, 2024, it's 10.30 a.m. and we have a current temperature of 18 degrees Celsius, it spoke to be a scorcher today, so we'll see. We have a little bit of cloud cover and sometimes blue sky is sticking out. So, I see a little bit of blue sky over the top of that hotel. Alright, so I'm beginning this walk at Peace and Friendship Park. It's been a while since I decided to walk from down here. So anyway, the, I see they're still working on the train station over there. We might take a peek at that while we're in the neighborhood. And um, with that, we're going to get started. I'm going to have our uh, walk here. Decent Center Friendship Park. I'm almost right dead center. Because you got a walkway out that way, a walkway out that way, and two up that way. And I'm right in the middle. And then you got the same thing down there. So I'm almost right dead center. That square right there, I'll tell you about that square. That used to have a guy, a statue of a guy named Cornwallis. And a lot of stuff here at that time was named Cornwallis that, Cornwallis that, they had Cornwallis Street, Cornwallis Hotel, they had everything Cornwallis. Because they thought he was the most wonderful person that ever lived in Nova Scotia. Turned out he did a lot of things to uh, hinder the, our Mi'kmaq friend here. So anyway, he came crashing down and uh, we, we haven't have found a replacement yet. I think uh, a chief, put a chief up there would be great. A famous, a famous chief, that would be really good. Or something Canadian, but not that type of thing. We don't want that kind of colonialism put up on our stands. So they took them down and got rid of them, but I think that was purposely placed dead center in this park. What it looks like, it was purposely, it's in line with that walkway, and if you turn around, we're right in line with that walkway. Center of these two lines right here, it's right in the center of that. So I think it was purposely designed to be dead center in this park. But it means nothing at the moment. It's just a slab of concrete. It doesn't mean anything. So anyway, let's take a look around here. We give enough uh, attention to what's his name. See, I forgot the already. I'm kidding. I know what I just don't want to say it again. Well, all right, this is Peace and Friendship Park. Not the old name that used to be here, named after that dreadful person. Okay, a lot of construction going on this house in right now. There's one there, and there's another one just up the road. And uh, there's a, something else going to happen right here. They're preserving that building, and then they're building something new, and I think they're going to be joined together. Anyways, yeah, that, that's good. I'm glad to see a little bit of uh, building activity going on in the south end because the north end is getting plenty. Downtown is getting plenty. Dartmouth is getting plenty. But the south end wasn't getting too much uh, rebuilding. But now we are, which is good. Every time I come here, which I don't come real often, but... I am reminded of my youth. I used to be able to take the train down here, and I had relatives in Nova Scotia. And I used to come down on the train. That white spot right there, that's the train station. They're doing some work on it right now. But we might take a peek. I used to get off the train station right here, and I'd be waiting for it. I used to have a train going up the Annapolis Valley. We would go to Digby. We would meet the boat coming across the Digby, which I have come that way before too. Come across on the boat from St. John, 
take the train down to Halifax, and you still get off here. There wasn't a lot of the stuff that's here now. Like, we didn't have that supermarket over there. That, that's coming from the bus terminal. Maritime bus terminal right there. And I don't know, that it must be still running the speakers working. It don't look like a bus terminal, does it? Because there's no windows in the front. It really does need some, an overhauling and some big glass windows in the front. Who ever saw a bus station look like that? They always have windows in the front. All right, let's go. Let's get over Crass Road. They're talking about the Montreal train. It's just going. So let's take a look. Before we go. For our French speaking friend, they have it in both languages. Might even have it in Ligua. I don't know if they do or not. Let's take a look in here. There's still people in the station. Good. What about this one? Is it locked? No, we can go in. Okay. Good. Let's take a look inside. This is when the train's leaving from Montreal. How about that? Wow, it looks really nice in there, doesn't it? Very good. Let's go inside. Yeah, really nice in there. This is how I remember it back in the day when I was a teenager and used to take the train down here. That was um, really exciting for me back in those days. I thought this was the biggest train station, what was the biggest one I'd ever seen when I came to Halifax. It wasn't until I saw Montreal station that Toronto that I realized it. There were train stations bigger than this. But it does bring memories back coming in here. This looks so good. I wish it was like this all the time. Unfortunately, they only have the train going once per week. So anyway, there you are. Good look at the train station in there. I've done this once before, but you might not have seen that video. Look at that, electric doors now. They didn't have that back in the day. Well, okay. We'll make our way out of here. This is under a lot of uh, construction because they're trying to make it look good. So hopefully, hopefully, let's keep our, our fingers crossed that maybe one day the trains will all run from here again every day, not just one day a week. They go up one day and they come back another day and that's it. Well, that's the excitement for one week. But lucky I came in here again today when they were uh, waiting to get on the train. How nice. And this is the uh, hotel, the big hotel. It used to, I think it was called the Nova Scotian back, back in those days. But now it's got, a, it's got another name now. I guess. I'll see if I can get it off of here and tell it to you. No, it's not called the Nova Scotian anymore. It's called, it's called something else. I got to see. I think up on the top of it there somewhere, there's a, the names up on the top there. When we get up to the street, we'll, we will um, tell you the name of that. So it might be on the doors up here, too, what it's called now. I'm sure it was the Nova Scotian back then, but it's not anymore. Hasn't been for a long time. Well, this is something new right here. Doucette and Watts and Davis's interiors. Well, that's different. I didn't know they had a, a business in there. I'm in a paid parking lot. <laughs> I gotta get out of here somehow. You have to go back 
to the entrance way here. I got, I got fence all around me here. Okay, so we'll go back. And I want to get the name of this hotel. It's, a, it's, it's not, it's not the Nova Scotia anymore. It's got a, got a different name now. Surely I can uh, get it from, from uh, the, the street up there. I should know it now, but for some reason I don't. Because I never stayed at it. I never, never, I don't come down here and, and look at this hotel. There it is, the Western, the Western Nova Scotian. There you go, right there. It used to be, it's called the Nova Scotian. Now it's called the Western, Western Nova Scotian. There it is, right up on top. The Western. Okay, there we go. Now I'll try to remember that. All right, and there's Peace and Friendship Park again, right over there. We'll say so long to that for now. Keep moving. Well, what street do you want to take today? Let's see, I'll take one that I haven't traveled all later. But we're not going on Barrington, because I've been on that a lot. We're going to go... This one here, I think this one here would be, would be, Hollis maybe? Possibly? Here's how you get to the, Container terminal, you gotta go down the street right here, terminal road. That's how you get to the container terminal. Down there, make a right. Okay. Alright, we'll just stand here a minute, I'll make the traffic clear, and then we'll uh, do something. Alright. Alright, we'll cross, we'll cross, we'll let him go, and then we'll cross the street. Okay. Alright, we'll go now. Good opportunity now to go across. Look at all the trucks coming out of. Container terminal. Yeah, I think this one is Holland. But so far I haven't seen a sign that says it, but I, I'm pretty sure it's Hollis. Cause you come down Hollis and you go up lower water. So since the traffic's all coming this way, I think this is Hollis. But there is another street here in here too. So we'll see. This city is not very good at replacing signage. When a sign falls down or gets hit with a truck or Running. It stays like that for a year or two. They don't, nobody comes around checking them. You see the signs are missing. Maybe they're missing intentionally. Maybe we want to see a souvenir. So they take the sign, I don't know. But we got a lot of intersections with signs missing. There's a book. Sellers Cafe right there, which I can't say I've ever been in it, but it looks like it's busy. And you got another one right here, PG Cafe and Grill. We have lots of cafes here in the city. I'll see when I get up to this intersection. If this is the street I think it is. I think it's Hollis, but it might be, I'm almost sure it's Hollis, okay? But we'll see. Gotta make sure before I tell you that for sure. I might tell you that and then you say, that's not Hollis. So I think it is, but who knows, right? Oh, I smell food back there. Maybe we need to find a, a restaurant. Now I can finish my walk first. I can't eat before I... I gotta finish my walk and then find a place. 
Yes, walk there. There's a nice, looks like a nice new sign right up there. Hollis, Hollis Street. Can't miss it. There it is. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. There's another place, Coffee Bistro, Cold Treats, The Wired Monk. Fixed up really nice and it looks like it's really busy in there. Delicious wraps and soups and salads. And the Wired Monk. Maybe I need to try that one day. There's so many cafes here, I can't even, when I go to go to a cafe, we say, my wife say, where do you want to go? I go, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, I need to have some places uh, all lined up, so when she says, where do you want to go? I can name one. Rather than, I don't know. She hates it when I do that. So I need to, I need to find a place. We could be going out for supper, we usually do on Friday night. So, if we go out tonight, and she asks me where do you want to go, I can't say, well, I don't know. <laughs> That's not going to work forever. So I got to find some cafes, places that I think I'd like to try. And then when she says, where do you want to go? I'll say one that I think would, would be nice. Okay? I'll make that, uh, I'll make that a thing today. Uh, I've got to find a nice looking cafe. I don't want a cafe that just sells pastries and coffee because we usually go out for supper on Friday night. So we will see what I can find. In my search in this city, searching for a nice restaurant, not Boston Pizza and not the Blue Nose, because we've been to both of those quite a few times. It's time to branch out. Find a, find an, an, I got some competition now. That truck with that empty container on it is bouncing around. I would have had to holler if you heard over that. Well, you never know what you're going to do when you start to do a video, right? You, just, you see what happens. I was happy that the train station was, was busy today. That was really good. Rather than going in there and seeing an empty, an empty station, we got to show it with us. customers in there. They're looking down towards the harbor. Okay, let's get out of here before these kids get up here. Let's, let's, let's make our getaway before the kids get up here and get in the way. All right, keep going. That place is still waiting for a, for a, a, a restaurant or a cafe or something in there. And this place is called The Governor. They got some nice houses down here. Really, really nice apartments with big entrances like that. Ours don't have that. We have an entrance, but it's not like this, where they got a spa in here and all that. We, we don't have that in our building. We're in a new building, but we don't have that, all that. These are made really nice down here. The amazing, if the, the more stuff they put here, the more they can charge you. But you got to be prepared for that. It's, oh, look at this, a move truck with everything in, in, in square boxes. That's pretty cool. Piece of Ontario cars here. It's true, they are moving down here from Ontario. It is the truth. Many, many people have moved to Halifax from Ontario. That's an oldie. We came back from Ontario in 2018. So that's a long time ago now. It's, uh, it's uh, almost six years now. We came back the end of July, the 1st of August. We moved into our apartment that we had. Not the one we're in now, but we we like, when you first come here, right, you're willing to move in anywhere because 
you don't want to pass anything up because it may, get, may not get another offer. So there's a second one from Ontario. Right here on this street. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, we, we, we moved over it. When we first came here, we were over in uh, Dartmouth. And we got it online, so when we got here, we know we were going to have a place to stay. And ended up staying there five years. And now we're out in Lower Sackville, which is good. It's not bad. We got a much nicer uh, apartment than we had before. And, and actually, we're closer to stuff. We might be out in Lower Sackville, we're, but we're closer to a lot of stuff than we were when we're over in Dartmouth. I can look out my window and see Tim Hortons. They're like a five minute walk from home. And I gotta cross the street, I guess. Anyway, I was rambling on here. I said, I can look out my, my our window and see Tim Hortons. I can see Rotten's Drugstore. Uh, the hospital. Hopefully I don't need that. Yeah, all kinds of things. We're just uh, we're just a skip away from uh, Walmart, the newer Walmart out there. Just uh, like a five minute drive. We got we we got everything around us really. But it isn't like in the city. It's, it, it's me. I'm a city person. I, I like living here. But we're okay where we are. I can jump on the bus out there, and a half an hour later, I'm downtown. I jump off the bus, but then I have to think about parking and and all that. So I get a monthly pass. And being a senior, I get a cut on that. There's another Ontario. They're, they're everywhere here today. I'm going to cross the street now again. i got to walk back over there. So, here we are. Where all the growth is happening. Everywhere you look, there's condo buildings. Apartments. A lot of apartments here. That's the thing here. They sell condos too, but there's a lot of apartments. Because everybody moving here and, and there, there was a real shortage of apartments. But all this growth when they, they eventually they'll get caught up. They will eventually come to the spot where they can say we have empty apartments now. We have a an excess, but well, we're not there yet. We're a long ways from there. There's an old Volkswagen fan, man, that thing's old. That looks really good though, doesn't it? Yeah, from New Brunswick. This looks like Toronto. <laughs> This is really great down here. Something's going to get built right there. It shows a picture of those two buildings. That's going to be good. Truck's heading to the container terminal. I would imagine one day, they do have another container terminal here, up on by Bedford Highway. And I wouldn't be surprised one day they might make enough space out there to take all the containers up there. Because this is really bad for downtown. The trucks have to beat their way down here over the bumpy streets and rattle and make a big noise and they hold up traffic. And one day it'll be, maybe, maybe it will have that. I can't promise you that, but maybe one day we won't have this container terminal down there anymore. If they ever move it, I'll put the bug in the, in the ear of the 
city here. If they ever move the container terminal, look at all the land that's down there. Man, that place is huge. They could, they'd have enough room for 10 high rises down there. Maybe more if they ever moved out of that terminal and moved up the other way. I don't think it might get there one day, but when, I can't really say. I'm, I'm sure one day that, that will happen. As the city gets more congested and people don't like those noisy trucks going down through the street here and containers make more noise than any other truck because they rattle and especially when they're empty. They, they rattle and make an awful lot of noise. And I don't think the truck drivers enjoy it either. I know because I, I came here with a truck before down to the container terminal. Well, we're almost up to the other end of Hollis. We'll go right on up and uh, we'll finish up there taking a little look at the Remember that spot I was showing you where they were digging all the earth out of there, the cement sites and all that? Well, they're still working on that, so maybe, maybe, just maybe, I can show you that included in this video. And we'll end up there, okay? I gotta wait for a green here. Green hand, there we go. Oh, it's not a green hand, it's a green walk sign. It's a red hand. Red hand and a green walk sign. There we go. I knew that. The Art Gallery of Nova Scotia right here. And that right there is a, is a, a, a building of importance as well. 1726 Hollis, you want to know what it is? Okay. I probably looked at it before. Well, we'll go back over again. Okay. It was unveiled by Queen Elizabeth in 1994. Province House, that's what it is. It's called Province House. And let's see if I can tell you anything about it. It was opened in, it began in 1811. It was opened in 1819. So it, it took a while. It got opened in 1819, 1819 as the seat of the government for Nova Scotia. So the provincial government building, Province House. I won't read everything, but I just wanted to get that. It opened in 1819. Wow. It's a provincial building. 1726 Hollow Street. This building's getting a makeover look. Now, I know it took a long time to put that staging up. Because I was coming by here different times when they were putting it up. Ah, the windows are getting all ready for uh, Pride Month, which is July, and, and the reason for that, Nova Scotia's Pride Month is July, where's June and a lot of places, is because the uh, natives, the Mi'kmaq Health, the month of June is their month. So we can't take that away, we can't infringe on that. That has to stay as it is, and Pride Month there is in July. And if you don't like it, move to another province. 
that's how it is. It's always going to be that way. Okay. Oh, we've almost walked the full length of Hollis. We got a little bit more here. We're going to pass the Blue Nose Restaurant. And we're going to pass Boston Pizza. I think Boston Pizza might be up a block from the Blue Nose. But it's a small block. You'll be able to see the sign. These are the two places where we went the most downtown for restaurants. Is the Blue Nose and the Boston Pizza. And the waterfront's just down there. Ferry terminal. Supreme Court of Nova Scotia is right there. And the Court of the Nova Scotia Court of Appeals is right there. Alright, there's there's lots of pizza right up there on that corner. I know it's very noisy here, right? Alright. Let's go, I got a walk sign. I had one. Alright, we'll continue on up. I just want to see what's uh, happening up here. How much of that? I predicted they were probably going to tear down that big hump in the middle there between the streets. Because it used to support the, the, the uh, overpasses. Well, that's the name I'm looking for. The overpass. The overpasses. When, uh, when, you, when you came down the hill, you went onto an overpass and went up this way. Or you could go up the hill same way on an overpass to Cogswell Street at overpass when you came down. And they tore them all out. And it looked like they were moving the ground that used to be supporting where the, where the overpass ran out. It, it had a road that was built up in the air. Okay. Well... It does look a little different. It's not as high as it was. So I'm pretty sure that that's all coming down. What do you think? You agree with me? Think that's coming down? I think so. But it's a lot of work. You've got a long ways to go yet. Yeah, we used to be able to come up this way and get in the left lane and go right up over the hill. Now that's all gone, all done away with. The roads are still going to be here. It's just a matter of how to connect them because you're not going to have the overpasses. I'm not going to walk way up where I did before, but I just wanted to see if that's make, making any progress in that, it looks like they are. Well, we'll walk up in here. That'll give us as, about as good a look as we can, we're going to get. Right there. There. I won't go any further because I don't want anybody coming and telling me, oh, you can't walk there. It's dangerous. So, yeah, I think they're digging it up all right. We'll check on it in a few more days and see how much more is gone. All right. We're not going to spend a long time on it today because we covered it recently and have not that much has got done. Some has, but we'll come back maybe on. Monday or Tuesday. Okay. This looks now a lot better than it was. This, a lot of this wasn't here. This, this walkway wasn't here. This paved area. The grass. 
All that has been leveled and grass put in there. That wasn't like that before. And that walkway wasn't there. Don't you just love these old buildings? Man, it looks so good. These are all old. Even these ones right here are old. I don't know if they'll keep that sign on there. Loading zone, warehouse, no parking. It hasn't been a loading zone for some time now. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll finally get rid of the sign one day. Let's just take a little detour. And we'll walk across here and go down to upper water, lower water, upper water. I think it's still, I don't know, we'll see what sign says if it's upper water or lower water. It might be upper water here. And the sign's gone, as usual. So, and it might still be lower water, I don't know. Uh, it's upper water, I know now why, because down by the ferry terminal, that's where it changes, lower and upper, I knew that. I had a lapse there. Got to remember, I grew up in the hippie days. My, my, my memory don't function as it should. So. If my recall is not as good as it should be. I just remember I grew up in the 60s and uh, that probably had a profound effect on my memory. What do you think? Is that a good excuse? Okay. This is upper water, and upper water changes to lower water right after the ferry terminal. Not this light, but the next one. I know if you ever come to Halifax, you're going to know this area well, because I come here fairly often. As I've said before, we're not a big city, so I don't. it's not that hard to come back to the same spots a few times. But I'm happy to do so. Now here we are, right here, looking at the blue nose from here, from a different angle. We could we walk down that street up there, which is Hollis. We walk down. You can't drive that way because it's one way only takes you to the south end. Well, we're here. We might as well go up the hill. Or maybe a roundabout way to the hill. Or maybe straight up, I don't know. Across the street, we'll do that. I hope you're enjoying this uh, video so far. I'm at 35 minutes. We won't go too long, just long enough to make it enjoyable, okay? So, there's the two restaurants that I brag up all the time. The Blue Nose, they rode your plate right up and the prices are good. Boston Pizza, well, pizza's pizza. And I wouldn't say Boston Pizza's any better than anybody else's. It's good. But I think the prices might be just a little bit up. <coughs> My job is to tell you the truth. Not not sugarcoated. I gotta I gotta tell you the truth. I think I think Boston Pizza is expensive. But it is good. So, there's that. This place is really, I love it, because the prices are good, and they load your plate right up with food. If you're hungry, that's the place to go, the Blue Nose. Mm -hmm. 
right across the street from Boston Pizza is the Split Call. I can't say anything about it. I've never been in there. I know we used to used to have jazz playing in there once. I used to see the could hear them coming by there. Yeah. Uh, and I see musicians taking their uh, gear in there. Well, I guess we can go. There's no light. There's no street coming from that way. So there we go. You like murals? I do. Love murals on the walls. Well, I probably should think about going home before too long. I won't be making supper tonight because it's a Friday. Like I said, we we'll usually go out for supper. So, I'll make my way up to our street. for a green light and then we'll head up the hill. <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> yeah, we'll zoom you in. There he is. Zoom back out now because I had him zoomed in. Here's a, here's a fellow we know. We used to we used to go to the London that and he'd be here there on the same time as us here almost every week. Since we moved, we don't need to go to the London that because we have all that stuff now in our place. Well, it's really warm out today, I can tell you that. It's getting sticky. It's getting very sticky and warm. There we go. Getting, uh, myself leveled up here. Because I'm walking up Duke Street, which is a, a steep, steep street. I guess I'll go across here too while uh, it's uh, flashing. Okay. Well, we'll head up the hill. I think this bus stop here is for the airport. They have a special spot right here where they pick up passengers for the airport. When I walk up a steep hill, I have to tip my handle back because it wants to point down at the ground. So I got it kind of tipped back now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the airport bus. Yep, Airport Express. We'll take you right out to Halifax International Airport. And apparently they have to wait to board. Yeah. When I get up here, where this is where I get my bus, I have to uh, end my video. Well, that'd be good. I'm at 40, 44 minutes. Tell me about a, my perfect spot, 45 minute video. Yes, indeed.
Alba Marley. That's the first street up from Scotia Square. And that's the street where our buses park. There's bus five. I don't want bus five, I want 84. Which is the only two buses that park up here, bus five and 84. Okay. Okay, now we gotta level this back up. There we go. Perfect. I see one sitting down here, but I don't know if it's five or 84. It's five, okay. So I'm good. I can walk down there and I get time to relax. Wait for my bus. That's the way I like it. Not to have to run down there and hopefully they don't drive away before I get there. I like to get here early and I can relax. Make it easy and wait for my bus to come. But hopefully it's not like an hour away because I think they only run every, maybe every hour through the day. They get more frequent at rush hour. Yeah, we're not like, uh, we're not like Toronto or Montreal where the buses come all the time. I mean, they go heavy in the morning, heavy at night, but light through the day. Well, here we are. There's the construction job in the back of Scotia Square. The new part being built. All right. Let us sit right down here in the shade. Ah, beautiful spot. There we go, right there. Oh, there, perfect. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget that like and subscribe as well. Don't forget that. If you are a subscriber, my thanks to you. If you're not yet a subscriber, it just takes a little push on that subscribe button and, and uh, we're all set. Okay? Thanks to everybody who made comments. I know I'm a couple of days behind. I'm going to rectify that before this weekend's over. I'm going to be all caught up again, okay? I know I'm, I'm out on the streets all day and it's hard to find time to, to answer my comments, but I have to be disciplined and answer my comments. If I like to read them, I have to take time to answer them. So with that, I hope you're having a really great day. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you again on the streets of Halifax. Take care.